Hello, everyone. This is Kenny again. I'm co-founder of Epito. Glad to see you again. This is Vidu, Avatar's coding teacher. Glad to see you again. Welcome to Play with Epito. This is episode four. Yes. So in this episode, we're going to show you how to modify some codes. So a lot of kids ask me, where should I begin to code? Because they don't know coding. So Kenny, how can kids begin to code? I think to encourage them to play with code, the first one is they should not be afraid of to, be, to code. We should start with some simple things. That's right. Today I'm going to show you how to modify based on our coding examples. Yes. We have seven coding examples as default. We will play with that and then make small modification and we will see what will happen. The first thing we want to encourage children to code, I think the thing you should do is to encourage them to do that, not afraid of do the coding. Let's, we can do that, start from play with our seven default coding programs. Yes. So let's go to the Epito application, go to the code menu. We will see the official part. We have seven coding examples as default. First, we can play with the default coding examples. And we make some slightly modification on that. Let's see what will happen. Uh, let me choose one of them. Maybe the first one, Tiger. To play and to start, you need to first build a Tiger. To build a Tiger, you can go to the home page. You can select Tiger. And build with the assemble guide. Yes. So after you build, we already have Tiger here. Let's go inside, click the code. Now you will see we have some coding here. Exactly the, the codings. So let's try. When you click, it will remind you to connect your device to the robot. So let's make a connection. We open the power, put the device close. You will see its connection is succeed. Okay, so we have one tiger, we have one default coding examples. Let's try what will happen. Yeah, let's go. I just click. Now the tiger is rocking. Wow, is it interesting? It is. That is really cool. Huh. I, th I thought that coding is always difficult. Uh, can you tell me how, how can you make the tiger roll at the end? <laughs> the roll is very impressive, right? Yeah. Actually, I just make a small sighting in the coding section. As you can see, I'm using the Sound 11. Actually, Sound 11 already record as default. And it is the sound of the rolling tiger. This is how it works. Yes. But you can change another sound. Just click and choose related sounds. Okay. Try it. Yes. Okay, let me try it. Maybe I'll um, click sound two. Maybe I'll click sound two and let's see how it works. Oh, it's a new sound. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a new sound. So can I modify more codes into it? Yeah, please. Okay. Suit so, yourself. All right. So maybe I'll uh, let it say the tiger is coming. What about that? So maybe um, choose say something, right? The code say something. Um, Kenny, what does uh, the code say hello for? Uh, actually, say hello. This one is uh, you can you can write down something you want to say. You want to convert into into voice, so try to change. 
Right. Delete hello and say something else. Right. Let's see what happens. Let happen. me try it. Let's see. So I will put the tiger is coming. All right. Let's see. Should we run it? Yeah. You can try to explore more comments just based on the default program. Yes. It will be very fun to try. Yeah, I think kids will have a great time trying to explore the codes that are already available within the modified code so that they can easily modify them. Yes, that's it. Yeah. Thank you for watching. See you next time. See you. Apitor Superboard, Bunchap PP of Atmod, Nungum Nachnai Pradip.